Okay, so like all morning I've been brainstorming what video to make today and it wasn't coming to me, you know what I'm saying? But I just kept going with the flow. I did a little couple TikTok videos just to, you know what I'm saying, arouse my emotions to want to record a video, you know what I'm saying? And then he hit me as I was scrolling through my book. Boom. The 12 laws of the universe. This is like the foundation of spirituality and how to communicate with God. Communicate with the world. You know what I'm saying? Communicate with yourself. The 12 laws of the universe is very essential to understand, understand, and overstand for the benefit of yourself in creating your reality. Now, Let's jump straight into this video. Hi family, my name is Wiji Knight and welcome to Wiji Knight's Adventures. This show is all about assisting you in raising your vibrations and connecting to the multidimensional frequency of the cosmos. This channel is all about stimulating your six senses with cosmic energies of peace, love and positive vibranium guys. I hope y'all can feel this energy. If you guys connect with what this channel is about, don't forget to do me a favor and hit that like button, knock that subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell, and join Supreme Team Inspirations FC, the family, the soul group, you know what I'm saying? And drum roll, do 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 action, let's get live and direct. So, um, let's get into the video, but before we do that, I wrote a poem, right? I wrote a poem last night. And I want to quickly share that with you. We also have another poem on self-love that I'll be sharing um, at the end of the video. So y'all make sure you stay tuned and you stick around to the end for that one. Because that one is really good. I really like that one. But anyways, for this one, it starts like, Love is everything to live for. Unconditional in every shape and form. I let go and release my grip on the door. Behind is a field of cherry blossoms. Vibrating amplified forces of color pink. I imagine as I stroke this ink. And that was me writing last night, you know what I'm saying? I was just kind of in a flow state. But I, was st I still had a lot of like mental struggle on my head. As in like, I can get better with this shit. But let's keep going. The second stanza is, Love flows in all living being, expressing so glow through acts of discipline. Doing that which breeds love, which brings love. Doing that which breeds love like singing. Heals my pain while working my brain. Acting diligently to attain discipline. Mastery becomes change and love becomes rain. You know what I'm saying? Round of applause for Wager Night. That was, that was really fire. That was really fire. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate the support, you know what I'm saying? I do this for y'all, man. I do this for us. Now, let's jump straight into this video. And on today's video, we are going to be talking about the 12 laws of the universe. This is the foundation in overstanding life and reality. Understanding how to create your own reality. And understanding how to utilize this laws to raise your vibration and become more conscious. Now, law number one, the law of divine oneness. And this is self-explanatory, divine oneness. We are multidimensional divine being and we are interconnected with everything. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, we all spirits. So we all have the three spiritual gifts of fate, belief, imagination, you know what I'm saying, slash creativity. But we all do this, you know what I'm saying, we all do this. So in that sense, spiritually, we all the same. We all God in different perspectives, depending on how it manifests into density, into 3D reality. So although in the physical mundane reality of, the, of life, you know what I'm saying, of cycle of I, which is birth and death, we all appear to be separate. We all appear to have an individual vantage point and perspective towards belief, fate, and imagination slash creativity. 
all of that people call it subjective and it becomes objective when multiple spirits agree upon it but deep down within us in our soul in our essence in our vibrations we all connected to that spirit to that beingness to that source you know what i'm saying we all god and goddesses we all goddies you know what i'm saying <laughs> real shit so that is the first law the second law is the law of vibrations yes everything has a vibratory state a vibratory resonance you know what i'm saying its own frequency vibration and energy and the universe speaks in vibration the universe doesn't speak in english language and this logical left brain shit created by man and woman you know what i'm saying which is the thoughts and the feelings but and how it vibrates hitting density and people anthropomorphizing esoteric knowledge into esoteric concepts you know what i'm saying so with that being said the law of vibration is everything the universe speaks to you in ideograms signs and sigils vibration and how it makes you feel you know what i'm saying and the thought forms and ideas that that vibration carries which will be the frequency of that vibration how fast that vibration is moving is it vibing high is it vibing low the pitch the tone when it comes to the musical sense because life is music universe communicates with you in music you know what i'm saying so you want to connect to the universe tune into your vibration raise your vibration and this video by you paying attention and focusing on conceptualizing not even conceptualizing but just feeling these laws and how you already do them on the regular within yourself we already do all these things you know what I'm saying? You just have to be conscious about doing it and intending to do it. And consciously breathing. <sighs> Breath. That's vibration. You see that? Very powerful. But let's move on. Number three, the law of correspondence. Which is connected to the law of oneness. And correspondence is just the synchronicity of things. You know what I'm saying? And this is different from cause and effect. But where correspondence come in is the aspect of yin and yang. While cause and effect, which we're going to get into a later stage, is about you do this, there's an equal reaction. Law of correspondence is more to do with the duality, you know what I'm saying? But that in itself is separate. Correspondence is more about the synchronicity in the yin and yang. You know what I'm saying? And the urban flow, like water, you know what I'm saying? the parallel movement of things you know what i'm saying the above and below the within and without that is correspondence the way your internal world can change your external world that is correspondence you know what i'm saying and with correspondence we need to know the cycle of the synchronicity and that's why it's connected to oneness because oneness says we are all connected we are all one on a spiritual level right if we're trying to you know what i'm saying put it in dimensional and density and correspondence states the urban flow of the above and below the within and without it starts from the within which is correspondent with the above and it ends at the without, which is correspondent with the below. And that's simply all correspondent is. You know what I'm saying? And one thing with this 12 laws, when you read anything in a book or you someone tells you any information, you could run it through these 12 laws. And you're always going to learn more about that situation. You're going to be more enlightened about that situation. Because everything that happens in this 3D world works and is based off the 12 laws of the universe but you don't get taught that in school which is a major problem why because they want to brainwash you they want to indoctrinate you into their rulership their magic squares which is their imagination which is something you can do yourself that is why you should take back your power and start to govern yourself you don't need no fucking governors you know what i'm saying you don't need none of these politician puppet actors you know what i'm saying but anyways Let's get back into this. Oh, one more 
on correspondence it's also to do with patterns schedules and repetition occurrence of things reoccurrence of things that comes into play with correspondence next we have the law of attraction which we know this is simple opposite we always attract positive will attract negative negative will attract positive you know what i'm saying yin will attract yang yang will attract yin this is basic right you know what i'm saying and that works for everything when people tell you uh law of attraction you have to look the number one law the number one thing about law of attraction is opposite will always attract. So when you want to attract something, like I want more money, best believe what you attract is the lack of money. Or people in the external world looking down at you as, oh, you cannot get enough money, or you're broke, or you're poor, whatever it is. That's what you're going to attract, but within that is where you got to oppose that. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, correspondence, yin and yang. So when you want to be rich... You're going to get people telling you, oh, you're not rich enough or you're poor. So internally, you're going to have to resist that. And no, it doesn't matter what external shows you. You, know what I'm you are still rich because you have that internal spiritual currency. And that is, what, that is how the law of attraction plays out in reality. So when you watch these videos on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? And they're telling you uh, things like, oh, you got to think positive. You got to, all of that is good to know. But you need to know the main thing. Like attract, like attracts like, but at the same time, you need to know opposite will always attract. Because you like something doesn't mean it's good for you. So because like attracts like doesn't mean whatever like substance you attract is good for you. A.K.A. you want to be more rich. You know what I'm saying? So you attract someone that is like you that want to be more rich. But are they any richer than you? You know what I'm saying? So that's not getting you to where you want to be. And that's where the law of attraction can backfire. When people don't understand the actual resonance, the actual vibration that creates the attraction, that law, is opposites will always attract. And that is the foundation. And within that is when you can then attract like things when you become what you like. And when you become the I am. And then the I am wants what I am. You know what I'm saying? And that is the law of attraction. Let's move on. Next, the fifth law. I didn't say the numbers, but I'm going in order, right? So the fifth law is the law of action. Which means the universe speaks in vibration. You know what I'm saying? Frequency. Energy. You know what I'm saying? Everything is energy and energy is everything. That is why we say it. I say, and everything is on density level, so we can also break down energy into its respective density, which is the frequency, which is the nine, the vibration, which is the six, and the energy will be the three. You know what I'm saying? And the law of action is based on. When we're trying to put it on a 3D level, right? Action is the fastest and the strongest way to manifest in the 3D reality. You know what I'm saying? That's why people say action speaks louder than words. And that's the same with the universe. You want to show the universe that you are about something or you deserve something by taking action. By paying out that vibration, that frequency. You know what I'm saying? So you thinking positive, that is an action. You feeling positive, that is an action. And the, th the thinking positive is based on the frequency. And the feeling positive is based on the vibration. And then now in 3D, you act positive. And that will be based on the energy. You see how I broke this shit down? Yes, law of action. Very powerful law. Number six, we have the law of transmutation of energy. And this is when it comes into the force, the plane of forces. And your sexual force, your life force, energy, your breath, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Plays with the law of transmutation of energy. Energy cannot be destroyed nor created. It can only be transmutated slash transformed. That's why life and birth is not you creating life or creating death. Or you actually dying like society makes you fit. But everything's transition. So life and death is a transition of transmutation of transformation. You know what I'm saying? 
everything is transitory like it is vibratory in the universe in the cosmos well i'm such in the flow thank you spirits for allowing me to channel this message with clarity and yo this this right here is a fantastic lecture right now so far Anyways, let's get back into transmutation of energy. And we know there's various ways to do transmutation. You can do transmutation through the breath and breathing and visualizing energy flowing through meditation. All of these are ways to transmute energy through alchemy. You know what I'm saying? Which is mental mathematics, calculus, you problem solving you having an idea and then there's the problem that is resisting you from the result of the idea and believing that and becoming that and then you transmute that problem into a solution aka you take the action that you need to bring the idea down from the etheric realm into the physical realm now you are believing that idea and thus you get compensated by the universe for that idea aka the result you know what i'm saying the reward and that is the law of energy transmutation right there oh symbol <laughs> hey yo what is going to matter for the next decade it's an online course i created to assist and guide you in aligning your mind body and soul allowing you to tune into the multi-dimensional frequency of the cosmos this course will teach an open mind individual the art and beauty of what I call golden mindsets, which is what I have and now expressing. It is my duty and responsibility to share this wisdom and gift with you as part of me. I am fulfilling my soul's purpose as one with all of us. Peace and love. Next up, we have the law of cause and effect. Now, nah, this law is very juicy, you know what I'm saying? Scientists has been, has been getting people lost in this one for eons, but, you know what I'm saying? The law of cause and effect states, you know what I'm saying? Every action has a equal reaction, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's what scientists a lot of times get people lost in. But you need to understand with the law of cause and effect, it's also the quality of the action. It's also in the perspective of the action because a lot of people in society now based on cause and effect and society manipulation and then social programming and the hierarchy a lot of people have going lost into that program of cause and effect where they don't even base their investigation or their attention on the cause so it's one-sided they always focus on the effect and then reacting to the effect of the bullshit the Shadow government and the government are doing in their news programs and all this fuckeries. So you gotta understand, for cause and effect, you always gotta attribute the effect to the cause. Because the law of cause and effect, the laws of the universe are perfect. And the fact that it's all about equilibrium. You know what I'm saying? So for you to react to an effect, you gotta know the cause. You gotta investigate the cause. What is the agenda behind this cause, this action? You know what I'm saying? The, a cause. What does a cause mean? A cause is an agenda, an intention. You know what I'm saying? That you want it to give you a prosperous result, the effect. You know what I'm saying? And when you create in a cause, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, it's not to cause an effect on yourself, but it's to cause an effect within yourself and without into your reality, which will be the manifestation to, you know what I'm saying, to, what's that word, project your reality, the desired reality, right, but like society, like I said, in society began people lost in that one-sidedness of reacting to the effect and not investigating the cause, a lot of times people get, you know what I'm saying, caught up in this cycle of reaction you know what i'm saying like it's so foreign to me now you know what i'm saying because i don't live in that world view you know what i'm saying so it's like a lot of people just get codependent onto that energy of oh things is happening to me you know what i'm saying and then they start being in that low vibrational state of oh why is this happening to me and they don't get into how am i participating with this energy you know what i'm saying what my intention in the cause that is giving this effect so the love cause and effect go deep man i need to make a whole nother separate video on that one you know what i'm saying but let's move on i'm gonna just hit it at that 
Next, number eight, we have the law of compensation. You know what I'm saying? And the law of compensation, whatever time, you know what I'm saying? Time is money, you know what I'm saying? Energy, currency, focus, attention, spiritual currency. This is the real money, not this little paper thing they're printing. So you need to know the universe will always compensate a uh, quality energy, you know what I'm saying? A quality time put to work, you know what I'm saying? You're always going to get the accumulation of that like i said the law of the universe works on equilibrium but the universe itself is so generous in the fact of our spiritual abundance that you might put in action and the compensation you're gonna get for it is gonna be like amplified depending on your emotional state and you utilizing the other laws right so the universe is very abundant when it comes to that equilibrium of compensation and that is why the quality matters because a lot of people can get also lost in that time program and be like, oh, so the more time I spend on something, that means the universe will compensate. Bro, you get lost, dog. You know what I'm saying? So you need to know the universe is perfect in its laws. You know what I'm saying? There's no you trying to trick yourself out of it. You can only trick yourself into damnation, dog. You know what I'm saying? So work with the laws. Utilize the laws. You know what I'm saying? Make the laws your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And compensation is so abundant to us. Compensation loves, especially in this realm, right? Compensation loves to give in this realm. You know what I'm saying? Because us the spirit, we came into this physical reality to experience, to grow. And compensation loves to reward that. You know what I'm saying? But you can do your own research more on compensation. I'm going to move on. The next one is the law of relativity. You know what I'm saying? Which is everything is relative to perspective. You know what I'm saying? Everything is relative to relationship and how you're vibing with someone. You know what I'm saying? This is where we start to have the thing about soul groups. You know what I'm saying? And your spiritual family and ancestors in relation to your family and the physical dimension. You know what I'm saying? Because your blood relative could be separate from your spiritual family and your spiritual relative. So we got to know that everything is relative even with time. Us as spirits, we all have our relative space, our solo space, our soul within the overall space, the parameter of the universe. And the law of relativity is all about the pattern, the movement, and the cycles we do within those space. So my time is different from your time. That's why what works for me is different from what works for you. That's why the pace, the speed at which I speak is different from the pace in which you speak. That's why the pace and the movement of my gestures is separate and different from the of that or yours because we all have our individual space and then we're correlating our spiritual gift in cycles within those spaces that is sacred to us our home you know what i'm saying so this should go deep so use your time wisely guys use your time very wisely Next, we have the law of polarity. I love this, man. This is duality. I'm a must of duality, you know what I'm saying? I transcended duality a long time ago after going through my awakening, right? And my whole life, me being a Gemini, you know what I'm saying? I'm always about relating myself in my surroundings and being a authoritative. Well, I can't say that shit. Being an authoritative figure. In that, you know what I'm saying? AKA being a natural born leader. You know what I'm saying? In that, you know what I'm saying? That's that Gemini ego. I get that energy. You know what I'm saying? So the love polarity is all about seeing both sides of the coin. But going even deeper into that is being above the coin. Knowing that you're the one flipping the coin. Not, oh, I'm the heads or the tails. You know what I'm saying? Like the love people will get lost in the light or dark. And not knowing you are both aspects. You know what I'm saying? They'll get lost in the light of... They'll get lost in the... The bright and the shadow. You know what I'm saying? The bright and the dark. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. You see all this duality, right? The good and the bad. The devil and God. You know what I'm saying? They'll get lost in that. But not knowing you are everything. So, in neutrality, in authority, everything is an illusion that you are creating, which is a dream, you know what I'm saying, that's why we are here to live our dreams, but we need to know we are not the dream we are here to live, you see how that works with duality, right, so you gotta transcend duality, and the law of duality exists in everything, 
as in there's a polar shift a polarity that's why you gotta poli polarize polarize yourself to that wholeness to that oneness to that heart connection that heart center chakra you know what i'm saying and that's it for the law of polarity 11 we have the law of rhythm you know and saying this is where music comes into play you know what i'm saying and you know what I'm saying, spirituality, you know what I'm saying, and all of that, you know what I'm saying, because rhythm is to do similar with um, correspondence, right, rhythm is to do with pattern, movement, and cycles, but in the state of rhythm, it comes deeper into the vibration and the feeling of everything, you know what I'm saying, that's where rhythm plays into play, the tones of everything, you know what I'm saying, and the uh, properties that carry so certain rhythm are more beneficial to your body and your mind and your soul than other rhythms and this is where shit will come in with like music and society weaponizing music into 440 hertz because they know that rhythm is man-made it's a cyborg you know what I'm saying? It was created by man for an agenda, for a purpose, which is to cause resistance within your being, which is to cause disharmony and throw off your circadian rhythm, your natural rhythm, to your connection to the earth rhythm. You know what I'm saying? And that's why 432 is going to heal all of that. And 432 is going to create happiness within you. Because these are the rhythms. That are natural and aligned with our spirit and how we create our own rhythms. You know what I'm saying? So this should go deep. You know what I'm saying? This should go deep. Rhythm is in everything. Even the most still shit got a rhythm at which it's being still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That rhythm to the breathing. That rhythm to the unseen, to the occult. The shit that your naked eyes cannot see. Which can only be felt. And a lot of these things that are based on stillness of rhythm, they can only be felt on a deep subconscious level. You know what I'm saying? And this is how frequencies like 440 fucks you up and 432. Because it's not something you can consciously, like, listen to and be like, oh, this is the rhythm. Is You know what I'm saying? This is some shit you feel, though, deep within yourself. And the more consciousness you give to what is the rhythm I'm receiving from this, the more you're gonna start to become aware and the more that deepness is gonna start to come up to the surface and you're gonna start to tune in so even the most silent and the most still shit you can tune into and that's why they say silence you know what I'm saying is powerful you know what I'm saying cause once you can tune into silence and start to resonate on the frequency vibration and the rhythm of silence you know silence itself is a sound you know what I'm saying this shit go deep this should go deep. This should go deep. And that's why the certain sounds that animals can hear but humans cannot hear. Because everything is good. You know what I'm saying? Silence itself is your sound. It's probably something out there in the universe that can hear silence. We can hear silence. We just have to connect to that shit. We already do hear silence. You know what am I saying? But it's like you can... It's not something you... On some ego level. But it's on some soul level, you're gonna ride the wave of silence and you're gonna know how you're vibing with that. That's what I meant to say when I said you can't hear silence. But we all hear silence when it's silent, you know what I'm saying? This should go, bro, it's all like, what they called? What they called? It's all like that kind of music, that kind of music, like. But yeah, let's move on though. And last but not the least, we got the law of gender. Masculine and feminine, don't get lost in physicality, you know what I'm saying, male and woman, all this density shit, right? But gender is based on masculine and feminine, and it's something we all have within us, you know what I'm saying? I got masculine and feminine energy, and I be trying to connect to my feminine energy every goddamn day, you know what I'm saying? With some meditation and some twin flaming going on in there, some heart chakra center connection, you know what I'm saying? Trying to harmonize the masculine and the feminine, the yin and the yang, the shakti and the shiva, the left brain and the right brain to create a more holistic widget night. And that's it. That's it for the 12 laws of the universe, so utilize it for your own spiritual gains, your own spiritual inclinement, you know what I'm saying? And this will be called alchemy, when you're using divine knowledge and wisdom to practicalize your lifestyle. I wrote in my book, 
Alchemy is the science of using your resources and how you practicalize using those materials with external circumstances and life situation and living situation. And that is why people also say knowledge is power. Because knowledge is a resource and depending on how you use it is the alchemy that creates your reality. You know what I'm saying? This should go deep. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. Uh, I'm not going to forget, you know what I'm saying, the poetry, the poem. Let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? For all y'all that are still watching up to this point, I really appreciate you tuning in and paying attention. This is such a powerful moment right now. And this poetry is on self-love. Yes, sir. It goes like... Let's zoom in. It goes like... Twitter finger. It's like a trigger. When inspiration is in motion... Twit the picture. This time it's self love. The most important form of love. I remember when it started for me. I had a lot to heal. And Wiz Khalifa said self love is the key. And right there, I believed. Whoa. It felt like yesterday, or it feels like yesterday. How far I came today. I came a long way, dog. Let's keep going. Believing in the unknown is where love grows. Cultivating union within the condition needed for love to show. Harnessing discipline through joy feeds the soul and creates your glow. <laughs> your eye are transformed, or your eyes, you know what I'm saying, are transformed before their eyes and their eye, you know what I mean? Your aura brings peace to their minds. In the margin of self-love, imagination evolves. Faith is amplified and belief is magnetized, or should I say, is refined with knowledge and self-worth. Pure truth. Society always said, be yourself. However, never gave you the key to know how to be yourself. And now, which and I present you with the key, which is self love. Below and above all things. Or above and below all things. Yin and yang, you get what I'm saying. And that's it. And be careful when you use that word things. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it light. Self love is the key to healing your life. That is the so called thing. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoy it, do me a favor and hit that motherfucking like button to let me know that you guys enjoy stuff like this so I can do more of these dramatic poetry storytelling things you know what I'm saying and um with that being said don't forget to knock that subscribe button punch that post notification so you get notified when Wizard Knight comes back on the show Wizard Knight's adventures you know <laughs> peace love and namaste to your soul.